All right, future Brandon, this is how you add an HMI to an old Step 7 project. So here's my Step 7 project I currently got going. Uh, I have two things in here right now for logic. I have OB1 going on, and I have a DB uh, that has uh, two things in it, two bits, button and sensor. And then I have this logic here, which just ties the button to a green uh, stack light output. And then the input of the sensor goes to uh, the database itself. That's all that's running on the PLC right now, but what I want to do is add the HMI. So go to right click on your project, go to insert, and then go to the semantic HMI. Now, in my case, I have a 277 uh, 10 inch touch, that guy. Okay. Okay, once he's added, we're going to go here, click there, click there. We can see stuff, but to get into it, I'm going to right click on here, not, not this guy, but, but this guy down here, and hit open object. So do you want, no, we'll skip this part. Large this, very cool, there's my HMI. Now I have to create the connection between this HMI and the PLC. So I'm gonna go to Google to Connections. I'm going to double click on this area to say connection one, it's a 300 series PLC, yeah. I'm gonna go under station down to ethernet and select my PLC, just like that. And right there, it dragged in my information about the PLC and stuff. Now this isn't the correct IP address of the HMI, but that's not an issue at all. So we're going to go to tags and we're going to create a tag called button. And we're going to go, it's on a connection once, that's cool, that's the connection we made. It's going to be a bool and it's going to be db100, perfect. And like this one, it's going to be called sensor, and it's going to be the next bit, just that easy, very cool. So now I'm going to create a screen here, create a quick button. I'm going to very lazily leave the word text on there. We go down to press, and I'm going to add a, a bit to say uh, invert bit this time, and I'm just going to say uh, button. Okay, and then I'm going to grab a circle, big old circle, because why not? Go to animations, appearance, enable the appearance. We're going to choose the sensor bit. We're going to choose bit here. Double click, double click, and going to choose green for here, so it goes between white and green. That's all there is to that. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I'm gonna go ahead and compile it. Uh, do you wanna import this? No. We'll take a look down here, compiling finished, very good. I'm go ahead and download this. I'm going to choose ethernet, because that's what I set my device up for. I'm gonna put the IP address in here, 20. Uh, by the way, if you don't hit apply here, it, it'll reset this for next time. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply. I was going to close the dialog, so it's got to reopen it again. Okay, and then we hit transfer. Uh, do you want to overwrite the administration stuff? Sure, why not? Doesn't have anything, anyways. Uh, do you want to perform a system update to the HMI? Yes, we do actually. So this will update the firmware to the HMI. This is real simple. Just don't unplug the HMI while it's getting a new firmware. This is only available in Ethernet transfer, by the way. S7 Ethernet will not allow this. All right, now the firmware transfer has finished. We just gotta go back up here and re-download again. So just click transfer. Uh, do you wanna overwrite it? Sure, why not? Okay, now that the device has been downloaded, we can go ahead and push this button and see that our stack light comes on. And then we can put our hand in front of the sensor and see the indicator come on. There you go, that's all there is to it. Why?